feature today on EA TV. Two great clubs. It's coming up for you live. Alan Smith is with me. I'm Martin Tyler. Delighted to have your company for this match today. Rotherham United in our main match against Sheffield Wednesday. We've got here, Alan, is a side that don't concede many goals and perhaps they don't score enough. That's down to the overall philosophy of the coach. Yeah, they don't uh, commit too many men forward. They work incredibly hard, I know, on the training ground in the week, on organisation, who's where at any given time, and it does work. Number 22, Joe Newell. And number nine, Jamie Proctor. Let's look at Sheffield Wednesday and the list of their players here. Referee is Darren Bogd. Well, there's the first whistle, and the game is underway. Sharp movement. This could lead to a chance. It's good attacking play. That's a fine challenge, and he's got the ball. He's had a real go. It's a decent effort, that, with plenty of sting in it. Yeah, not far away. He really did visit, didn't he? The manager just trying to get his message across down there. They weren't far off taking the lead there. They played pretty well. Potter. Throw in coming up. Proper tackle that. And back it goes to the keeper. Going forward well. Newell gets his cross in. Any danger to the goal has gone with that clearance. Moving forward with some danger to the opposition. Now they're here. On the move and able to cut out the pass. Coming. The man is penalised here. is on, delivered into the box. It's good play until they got that challenge in. 
He's cut that out well, well read. Good advantage from the referee after that. And shoots! Oh, nowhere near. No, he's miscued that one. Miscued it badly. Getting forward well as a team now. Barry Bannon. Can finish it off. And they've scored. And the first goal will be such a boost to them. And here he was. Faced by the goalkeeper, that was the challenge. In you go, easy as you like. It looks easy, doesn't it? But I can tell you it's not. You have to be at the top of your game to try it and to convert it. Well, it's a bit tight before that goal, but now the manager, he's so pleased because I reckon he feels his team can go on and win this. Sheffield Wednesday with the lead. Goal for Sheffield Wednesday. Number 14, Gary Hooker. Can the owner of the green convertible car, the green convertible car, park near reception, please return to your vehicle in the Stopped emphatically and just as well. The approach play looked very encouraging. Quick witted and quick his movement too to intercept there and here they are on the attack and he's got the ball away from him with the tackle and that's a free kick against Sheffield Wednesday and that's going to mean a booking for the player oh, without question it was not the best of challenges is that just a case of mistiming the tackle well I think so the referee doesn't need to make a, a mountain out of this molehill but uh, it is a foul An update coming up from Loftus Road from Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Queen's Park Rangers. 30 minutes played. It's a quick break. Looks the goalkeeper in the eye. Up for grabs here. Well, that has cost them, but only a corner. Could have been worse. Put the corner in the middle. Defended well. Well, we did have to interrupt Alan McAnally. A lot going on today. It was a goal that he was telling us about from Queen's Park Rangers. The score is now 1 0. Cummings. Play back. There's some potential in this move. Rather hoisted into the middle way over his teammates so we'll restart with a throw in wood Trying to run off the shoulder of the last player, offside. That is a weakness in his game, gets caught offside too many times. Just failed to look across the line. Tom Lees. Kieran Lee. Into the attacking third. Looking to clip it into the middle. Well, the defender getting in the way. Closing him down. Taylor. Barry Bannon.
Hooper. Free kick given. And there's a real uh, discussion now about how to make the most of it. Saved by the goalkeeper at full stretch. It will be a corner. Well, it was a powerfully struck shot and top marks to the keeper there. Easy for the goalkeeper when really there was every chance of him being totally beaten then. He's got the ball. Yeah, he was exposed there and uh, he must have thought he was going to get beaten. But, well, the lad just made a real hash of it, didn't he? Well, the referee has signalled for half-time and it's 1-0 here. Well, the player that we're featuring here has done well. He's certainly been an influence on this first half. Well, he played really well, didn't he? And he got himself a goal to put his team ahead. He'll be pleased with that first 45 minutes. And the referee has blown to signal the start of the second half. Goal news involving Huddersfield. It's a second goal for Ipswich Town. 47 minutes played, 2-0. Cheers, Alan. Now, here's a chance to get at the opposition. Just read the intentions of the opposition there to make the interception. Goalkeeper can only parry it out. That's offside. The referees acknowledge that fact. Kieran Lee. He's coming forward with some danger. Newell. There's no doubt that around the Bush Telegraph of football, this transfer, potential transfer, is being discussed, but that's the only stage we've reached at the moment. Wouldn't it just? I mean, the rumours have been swirling for quite some time. Let's wait and see if there's any substance to them. Really getting at the opposition this far up the pitch now. Opportunity here. Two in front now. Well, keep the concentration and they've won this match, I think. Two for him on the day. And two very well taken goals. Well, they want to see this again, this goal. Just widen the margin here to 2-0. It's all happening at Loftus Road, Alan McAnally. It's a second goal for Queen's Park Rangers. 59 minutes played, 2-0. Thanks, Alan. And here they are on the attack. 
Well, he's got support here. That's great defending there, stopping that attack. Trying to pick out someone in the centre. It's rather skewed off his head in the end. Yeah, he, uh, he didn't catch it properly. I think he probably closed his eyes there. Well, long overdue, you feel, this change. The side that's behind. A switch of tactics now. Dangerous feel to this attack, it's looking good from their point of view. Challenges for the ball. Just lent the ball to his mate and got it back again. Penalty at Portsmouth. It's a penalty for Portsmouth. A slight delay as the ref clears the defenders. Can he score? Gary Hooper! They've scored! And that's the third, the hat-trick. It's a day he'll never forget. Well, no wonder he's wheeling away in a super celebration. To get a hat-trick is a fantastic experience, and he's just done that. Well, having scored two, he was just so full of confidence, and he never looked like missing that chance. Well, it's great when a plan comes together, and the manager doubly delighted with the way his team are playing. I don't think we expected this, such a one-sided affair, but look at the scoreline. Number 14, Gary Hooper. Trying to stretch the opposition using the wider areas here. It was nicely worked until that point when it broke down. Now they've got to try and regain possession. <laughs> Trying to thread a pass through, but not successful. Penalised here. It's going to be a substitution now for this team. Cleared away by the defender. And that's a turnover in play. Cummings, attacking now, in quickly. News of a goal from Huddersfield. It's a goal for Huddersfield Town. 79 minutes played. 2-1. Oh, interesting news again from Alan McAnally. Thanks, Alan. On to the attack now. Got the tackle in. Ball. It goes out wide again. He still appears not to have shaken off that knock. A nice move to get away from the defender. Not trying to catch this cross. He's punched it away. And it will be their throw. It's been another good day. I say another good day. It's not easy playing up front. You know. You did it for many years and very successfully. And that's a, a successful outing for this forward today. I thought he might be up against it, actually, against this defence, but nothing of the sort. He was top dog. Tackle here, and here's the shot. Hit it hard, <laughs> but not very true.
And here they are on the attack. Well, Alan, here's the substitution now. Pleasure to be here to see it, Martin. And uh, he'll be grabbing that match ball at the end of this match. The ball has gone up to indicate three added minutes. Taylor. It's good work with the ball. Under some pressure here, but it's still his ball. That will be a free kick. A uh, yellow card, Alan. Yeah, quite right. Well, that's risky going in like that. Well, he's gone to ground, and whenever that happens, you're going to get penalised. Poor challenge. Has a go here. And the goalkeeper hangs on well. It's finished here. It was absolutely extraordinary, exceptional, elegant, excellent. Well, he goes across and grabs the match ball from the ref, a hat trick, and that's to be treasured by any player. Well, in this great rivalry, one side rose to the challenge and the other has collapsed, really. Well, the losing side really didn't kick a ball in anger. They didn't turn up for this one, and that's surprising, given the importance of this derby. Finish it off, and they've scored! And the first goal will be such a boost to them. Hit it well! Saved by the goalkeeper at full stretch. Really getting at the opposition this far up the pitch now. Opportunity here. Two in front now. Well, keep the concentration and they've won this match, I think. A slight delay as the ref clears the defenders. And he's... Gary Hooper! 